Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to talk about setting up a parse server uh, since the parse.com uh, is going to shut down and you have to migrate your application to a self-hosted parse server or uh, you can set up a new parse server for your application that you are currently developing. So first of all we need a machine to run our server. You can create your own desktop or, or uh, get another server, but I'm going to use DigitalOcean here. DigitalOcean is a service uh, and gives you uh, virtual servers. So it's very easy to use actually. And here I'm going to install Ubuntu. So there is some uh, documentation so there is a parse preferred uh, Ubuntu let's check up to how to set up parse server there is a tutorial at the DigitalOcean's website so there are talking about installing it on Ubuntu 14.4 so I'm going to choose 14.4 uh, I'm not sure if it will work with a newer version or it won't work but uh, I didn't try so if you try and it's going if it's working you can let me know in the comments below so I'm going to choose 13 and probably 20 uh, 32 byte is good. Okay. And I'm going to choose the cheapest package because it's a demonstration uh, page. So here uh, you can add extra volume, extra space. If you want to, uh, you are going to choose a data center region. I'm going to choose Frankfurt. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. And private, uh, there is uh, additional options: private networking and other, other stuff. If you are interested, you can select. So I'm going to choose the uh, my computer's uh, SSH key here. Uh, if you don't know uh, about SSH. Uh, I'm going to talk about SSH in another video in this series because SSH is very important for managing your server, uh, working on a uh, working on a simple uh, window is not quite good. So uh, when you get your SSH key, you are going to enter it here, name it here, and then it's it's done. You're going to choose. So I'm using using run Linux Mint right now. So I have a couple other uh, computers. They are also seen there. And you can name your uh, computer uh, server. So I'm going to name it uh, demo demo Ubuntu server. Doesn't matter. And you click create. So it's going to create from an image it won't take one mo more than one minute so while it's going to work it's working we can check our tutorials so this tutorial is actually quite nice you can use it but there is some tips and tricks you should know about it uh, because they don't uh, give much detail so this is the IP let's this is the IP of our server and I'm going to connect this server with terminal and I think a bigger font would be better for you to see okay that's nice so I'm going to connect uh, with SSH if you don't know what the, what the heck is SSH, you can use the console over there. It's actually 
basically the same thing but with a with a not quite good UI so SSH our username which is root uh, because there's no other user right now there's just the root user and our uh, server's IP address so I'm going to paste here this IP address so it's uh, because uh, I'm going to connect this uh, server it's the first time that I'm going to connect it's going to prompt me are you sure this server you are connecting is safe or secure are you want to uh, do you want to con add this server to your whitelist so I'm going to say yes and there's a passphrase I'm going to talk about it in an other video about these SSH uh, specifications so that's it we are going to be wearing our server as you can see there is a welcoming page and Ubuntu comes with absolutely no warranty so we can check out our files and there is nothing So, so after uh, we set up our server and uh, logged in as root, uh, we need to install Node.js JS to our server to run uh, parse. So uh, with this link, you can uh, get the Node's uh, install files, and we are going to run uh, installing command after that. After uh, the downloading is done. And after that we are trying to get the parse server okay now uh, we should install uh, the downloaded files uh, node.js and the install installing started okay now uh, we need to find uh, the parse servers uh, URL uh, or git, uh, git repository but, but before that uh, we don't have any uh, Git software at our uh, server. So to be able to get the file uh, from for parse, we need to install uh, parse uh, Git uh, build essentials and .js to our computer. So I'm going to paste this code uh, over here. After installing Git, we can uh, pull the uh, parse server from github they have uh, provided a link for uh, parse server example uh, at their web at their github website site and after the installation finished let's check there's nothing okay this is the url you're going to uh, get parse so with git clone you are going to clone the repository for uh, to your uh, computer and it's uh, copied to my root uh, destination so entering this uh, folder you can see there is a lot of file and folders uh, they are all related to parse and you can uh, you, you have to first run npm install command to install this uh, file uh, install this download this uh, package that you we have downloaded so after installing that so let's first install that npm install okay uh, that's that could take a little time but not long, longer than one minute, I think. After that, we will be able to run our parse server with npm start. But of course, it's going to crash uh, and give us error about the database because uh, we started a server, but without telling the where the where is the database or uh, how it's going to connect within. 
uh, we have to find and uh, or uh, set up a database, a, a Mongo, Mongo data, MongoDB database to use parse server. So let's try to run our server after installation finished. Nice. Let's uh, write npm start, but it's going to uh, give us error about our MongoDB. As you can see, there is Mongo error. Uh, there is warnings uh, about MongoDB because we didn't set any MongoDB location or uh, we didn't install MongoDB to our uh, the server. If you want to, uh, to set save your files at uh, this machine, you can install MongoDB also at your uh, server. But I'm going to use MLab and I'm going to talk about it at uh, part 2. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like.